good morning so i am about to head out to grab coffee with austin we are going to a spot in the east village that i found it's a bakery so i'm hoping it will not be too crowded this is my look for today i'm wearing all saison i actually love this outfit and i'm so glad it is warm enough outside to wear shorts Becca's last day of work is tomorrow and I want to make her some cupcakes. So I'm just heading out to Fairway right now to go grab some ingredients that I don't have. The weather is really perfect today. Even like a little bit warm, but I get to wear my dress coat. to try to put together the cupcakes with the little counter space that I have. My kitchen is super small, so it's always kind of difficult to bake, but somehow it always gets done anyway, so we'll make it work. Okay, so I made frosting and I already put it into this icing bag. So let me see if I can try to ice these cupcakes. So this is the final product, at least the written portion of it. I have a few more cupcakes that I wanna add for tomorrow, but I'm gonna ice them in the morning before work. And then I started off by saying good luck and then I decided to change the message to we'll miss you, which I think is actually much better. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am about to head out to meet up with Helen for dinner, but I'm heading out a bit early because I wanted to take some photos and maybe like just grab some coffee just to do something today because I did not do too much in the morning. So this is the look. I have a French connection top on. I have this Uniqlo sweater that I tied around my neck because I saw it on a mannequin at Uniqlo in Japan and I thought it was so cute. So I'm trying that out today. I actually think it's pretty cute even though maybe the white on white wasn't the like best combo. And then I have my Celine bag over here, which I love and I'm so glad I'm taking her out more. Good morning. So I am currently headed to Patisserie Vanessa. It is on the Upper East Side and they invited me so I'm going with Austin and we're just gonna go grab some coffee and pastries there. And then afterwards, I'm gonna help Austin out with a collab of his and we're doing like a little picnic in Central Park. So it's like gorgeous out today so it's the perfect day for that.
getting to work. Stopped off at home for an hour and now I'm headed back out to go meet up with John. He's one of my college friends and he is visiting New York for a few days and he wanted to grab omelet rice, which I'm always down for. We made it in this morning, um, honestly probably just like an hour ago. We went straight to the hotel and they didn't have our room ready but we at least kind of like checked in so whenever our room is ready we can go there. But we pretty much just immediately got changed in their bathroom and now we're at the beach and it's so so nice out. I think it's like 80 degrees, oh, yeah, yeah, perfect yeah. weather. Um, it's great to be on a beach honestly. Phoebe just went to go grab some food and drinks and I'm just chilling on the beach over here. We are at the Palms Hotel which has a private beach and it's so nice because it's not super super crowded. I really don't know how much I'll end up vlogging on this trip since it's pretty much just going to be a lot of r and R. I know we have a lot of dinner reservations but for the most part I have a feeling we're just going to hang out at the beach and the pool. They also have a private pool um, just behind this. All right, the food is here. I love how they put in like dimples. I got you sweet potato fries. <gasps> I love sweet potato <laughs> fries. Thank you. Oh my god, I love how it's in dim sum. I know. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it is day two and we are headed out to go grab some coffee. It's like 8.30 a.m. and then we'll go to the beach. and then got cleaned up and now we're heading to dinner and drinks and yeah already called a car should be here soon hi for maddie right thank you so much oh maybe the window yeah time because the next place that we're trying to go to doesn't even open until 11. Having major beach FOMO right now though. Yay, sunscreen. The way I have to check out the <laughs> K-pop section.
So I am starting this book because Phoebe recommended it and we went to Target and I got it. So might as well start it now. <laughs> so we were at the bar and I thought I lost my phone because it wasn't at the table anymore. So we asked the counter if they had any phone and they said that they like turned a phone into security. So we went downstairs to security and they didn't have my phone. So we went back upstairs and luckily they did have it there again. So that's why we came to Salt and Straw to celebrate right before dinner. Anyway, now we're on our way to the Mandolin. We're just waiting for our car, but apparently this is gonna be a really good dinner. I had a few people say it was like really, really well rated, so. <laughs> I, I, like, I got nervous. We lost our phone. We went upstairs. We didn't have, they didn't have my phone. We went downstairs, didn't have my phone. We went upstairs, they had my phone. We're going to dinner, I hear it's gone. <laughs> No. Okay, I was actually really freaking out, but... Yeah. We had like a moment, it was like a couple hours. It was like a two hour ordeal. It was really okay, bad. It was like really Guys, long. Guys, get this, it was terrible. Anyway, <laughs> bottom of the line is I have dementia. <laughs> at least I have my phone back. Yeah, at least we're going to dinner, have a great last meal. Can't wait. this book and I really liked it. I read it so quickly in like six hours. So thank you Phoebe for suggesting it to me. Um, definitely really good for anybody who likes Emily Henry books.